Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to do a quick video today on how to disable the seat safety switch on a Husqvarna riding lawnmower. So what I got here is a YTH18542. I think most of the seat safety switches are the same on these tractors, so this should be, this video should cover a lot of models. So I have to start off by saying you shouldn't disable uh, safety switch on any piece of equipment and operate it. The seat switch is there for your safety, so just disable it for troubleshooting purposes. So, on that note, here we go. So, the seat safety switch on this model is located right in the center of the seat. So, basically, when your butt comes up off the seat, if the parking brake is disengaged, the engine come, turns off. Now, if the parking brake is engaged, you can get up off the seat, no problem engine keeps running but if you're say on a hill you're mowing your grass you're on a hill you kind of lean or adjust your position if you come up off this seat right here the engine's going to shut off so to disable this switch it's a little bit more difficult than what i was used to on my old craftsman mower my old craftsman mower just had a two wire connector right here just kind of a make or break switch on or off uh, you could disconnect the switch, jump the two wires, and you are good to go. They've gotten a little bit more uh, advanced with these here switches. So here's the safety switch right here, right under your seat. And here is, if you can see it here, the connector. So to get to this connector, what I do is I just kind of stick my finger in here, kind of push up on it, and then pull it down it's kind of a pain in the butt but it's all good so you see here we got a four pin connector this kind of threw me for a loop because you know I'm used to make or break so this one here is four pins what happens is if you can see it here let me uh, reposition the camera So basically what happens is if you try to disconnect this switch and just leave it, uh, you know, not plugged in and try to mow your grass or run the mower with the park and brake disengaged, it will shut off as soon as you disconnect the park and brake, whether you're sitting in this seat or not. So they've gotten a little bit smarter with it. And what happens is, is when you, ah, stupid camera. So basically when you disconnect this switch, there's a, uh, oh my God, this light. So anyways, when you disconnect this switch, there's a little bar. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up right in here that these little tabs here come down and they touch these pins grounding them out. So that way the mower knows that there's nobody in the seat. You can see my pin's kind of bent up because I've been messing with it, but that's what it does. So I've seen videos where people will stick, you know, toothpicks or whatever in here and try to lift these pins up so it's not making the connection, and that works. But I thought there's got to be a better way. So if you look on the other side of the connector, you have, let me move this wire out of the way here. On the other side of this connector, you have this little notch right here. And in this notch, you'll be able to see it yourself. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. In here, you can see a bit of a metal tab. So all you do is take, this is just a straight pick, kind of small. Take your straight pick, put it in here, and push out. As you push it out, you're going to see this pin these pins start to come out once they start to come out then what you can do is you grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers i got a pair here i just got a small pair grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers once you got it out far enough to where you can get a grip on it just grab it and pull it out voila there you go see all this does here is it's kind of acts like a spring when you get out of the mower, this comes down, hits all those, those terminals in there, 
causing a, a closed circuit, and then the mower shuts off anytime you disengage the parking brake. So now with this out, I can run this mower without being in the seat with the park and brake disengaged. So if I want to troubleshoot something, I can do that and not be in the seat and have the park and brake disengaged. So I found this to be the best way. Rather than sticking toothpicks or something in there trying to bend these tabs up, just get you a little pick or a small screwdriver, something small, stick in there and just push the thing out and then grab it with a pair of needle nose and pull it the rest of the way out. Then this connector can now go anywhere I want. I just stuff it down here in the battery box here and then now I can sit in the seat and ride the mower. So anyways, that's really all there is to it. I've watched a few videos. I hadn't seen one like this yet where somebody did it that way. So I figured I'd post it. Maybe it'll help you guys out. So anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.